This is the introduction to three-phase power lab for ET280 using this handout or something similar. We will be using several new pieces of equipment. First and mainly is the three-phase power source. This is controlled from a wall switch and also a circuit breaker. Lights means the terminals are active and this is three-phase power so please be careful. The first column is phase A, B, and C of 120, 208 volts. This is a fixed voltage so it is particularly hazardous. The next voltage column is a variable supply which is controlled by the large knob similar to what was used in the single phase lab, the three phase variac which is inside the box. The last two terminals or two, two sets of terminals are used for DC motor operation. There is metering on the unit you can measure line to line voltages or line to neutral voltages for the phases. The second piece of equipment is the power resistor board. This is designed to accommodate both three phase Y and delta circuits. Please review the document in the laboratory manual for the connection information. It is not complicated but it is the source of some confusion for students. The first experiment is the balanced Y, the simplest of our power circuits. A, B, and C phase are fed from the variable supply on the three phase power supply. A common or neutral connection is made back from the balanced Y to the Y neutral from the source. It is highly recommended that you initially configure the board for the proper resistances and then add the instrumentation wiring which is quite complex. This is the instrumentation wiring on the three phase power meter, three voltages, three currents. Review the document in the laboratory and handout for more information. The safest way to operate the three phase power supply is first check to make sure the voltage knob is fully counterclockwise which is zero volts. With that off or at zero voltage energize the unit. As you adjust the voltage up to the proper levels, you will see the readings appear. If there happened to be a short circuit or load problem, that would easily be detected early on and the circuit breaker tripped on the lab volt unit. In this case, we will set up the voltage for 100 volts line to neutral, which is 173 volts line to line voltage. At 100 volts for each phase or near 100 volts we take our measurements. On the three phase watt meter you can measure voltage, current for each phase, wattage which is the voltage times current depending on the circuitry you have applied, VARs, v volt amps, and power factor. In this case we only have resistive loads so the watts and the volt amps are the same with the VARs being zero and the power factor being one for each phase. The readings for each phase will be indicated using the lower buttons phase one, phase two, phase three. The last quantity to measure is the neutral current which is from the common point of the load to the neutral on the unit. In this case of a balanced load, the neutral current is zero or very near zero in most cases since the three phase currents are almost identical. 
The resistors, power resistors on the board get quite warm because they are each burning 100 watts in the standard configuration. So only keep this setup energized as long as you need to take your measurements. In the second part of the lab, we will unbalance the Y. Phase 1 is left as 100 ohm. Phase 2 is 67 ohms, which is created by the 200 ohms in parallel with 100 ohms, paralleled at each end. The third phase is converted to 200 ohms, and that is so you need to move two wires. Insert the yellow wire, and in this case, move the black wire. In this case, we now have an unbalanced Y, meaning the three load volt resistances are different. Whenever you are working on the board, the power light should be off so there is no voltage applied to the circuit. Additionally, the voltage range should be set to zero. We are now ready to energize the circuit. Near 100 volts for each phase, we now see that the currents are unbalanced. With the second current associated with the 67 ohm resistor larger and the third current associated with the 200 ohm load is smaller. Take voltage and current measurements as in case one. In this unbalanced case, the three currents for each phase are different because the load resistors are different. The 100 ohm, 67 ohm, and 200 ohm resistances create the different phase currents. In addition, since they are unbalanced, a neutral current is now indicated. When reading low values on the clamp-on ammeter, multiple turns can be looped through the window of the clamp-on meter and then the reading divided by three. Three turns indicates 2.6 amps of current, so the current per phase is somewhere between 0.8 and 0.9, 2.6 divided by three. Take all voltage and current measurements in addition to the neutral current. In part 2B, instead of measuring the neutral current, we eliminate the neutral but measure the voltage between the common point and the neutral using the bench voltmeter. As we apply the voltage, a voltage will develop on the neutral. The exact values of the voltages is not critical, but somewhere near 100 makes it easy to evaluate the readings. As we see, a voltage of 29.6 volts appears between the neutral and the common point when the system is unbalanced and there is no neutral connection. Although it is not required, we will indicate the measured phase voltages. At the source, everything is matched. But at the load, we see 103 volts on phase load A, 77 volts on phase B due to the 67 ohm resistance, and finally 129 volts on load C, the 200 ohm load. As in each case, reduce the source voltage to zero before changing your setup. The balanced delta circuit of 300 ohm loads is created simply by interconnecting the phases with these jumper wires and connecting the 100 and 200 ohms in, in series for each phase. Again, apply the voltage and energize to the desired voltage reference. In this case, 100 volts is a convenient number. Again, each current 
showing is balanced, and these are the line currents, IA, IB, IC. The individual phase currents are read by simply clamping around the ammeter for that phase. The jumper wire indicates the in as before, if greater resolution is required, in this case, three turns of wire produce 1.8 amps, which means that the individual phase current is 1.8 divided by 3, or 0.6, which is better resolution than, than the 0.5 reading. The unbalanced delta is the most complicated of the three circuits. In this case, 100 ohms is connected between A phase and B phase. Between B phase and C phase is 100 ohms in parallel with 200 ohms. The paralleled connection coming back to C. The last case is from 2C to A, it follows around on the top connections and goes through the 200 ohm load back to A. Phase A to B, phase B to C, phase C to A. Again, take measurements on the voltages, currents, and wattages read by the meter. And that completes the three-phase power lab. Please review the document for any additional information.